presented by Church Tech U. It's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, should you renew ProPresenter Plus? Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you like being able to budget for renewal of software as opposed to being surprised and having to wait another year, go ahead and click the thumbs up button. One thing that is awesome about um, ProPresenter's new business model is just what I just said, that you can budget for a certain amount for renewing the software every year, and you don't have to be, uh-oh, they just announced a new version of ProPresenter that I really, really want, but the budget's already out, so I have to wait another year. That's what happened to a lot of people at the beginning of 2020, and it became an even bigger deal when the pandemic happened. If they were stuck on ProPresenter 6, but they really needed the live streaming options in ProPresenter 7, some of them just had budget issues. So that is a very good reason to renew ProPresenter Plus. But I've gotten ahead of myself. So let's talk about uh, what ProPresenter Plus is and why I think you should or should not renew it. Well, the first thing it is, is it's a, it's not a subscription program. So some people are confused about this. If you do not renew ProPresenter Plus, ProPresenter continues to work. In fact, my ProPresenter Plus has lapsed just a few days ago, and I actually have not renewed it because I wanted to uh, take you through the process, and we're going to talk about that here in just a second. But you might notice that there's no uh, watermark on this display. Yes, this is ProPresenter. This is the announcements layer, so it's ProPresenter 7, but there's no watermark. And there won't be a watermark, because if you don't renew, ProPresenter still works. You just can't update it past the version that was current when ProPresenter Plus expired. That's the first thing that you should know. So you might be wondering, well, why should I renew it? Think of it this way. First off, you get access to all the new features, and ProPresenter 7 has had a lot of new features. Let me just go through some things off the top of my head that have been added since Renewed Vision released ProPresenter. They added the ability to live stream, audio routing uh, that was specific to live streaming, the ability to encode in ProPresenter for Resi, potentially saving some churches thousands of dollars if they wanted to use Resi but didn't want to buy a hardware encoder. Um, then there's, of course, um, the latest update that tweaked the UI a little bit to solve some issues that people complained about from the very beginning, moving some of the controls from up at the top where it would cover up important stuff like slides to down in the lower right-hand corner where you could interact with things. Those are just some of the things that they've added, but actually my personal favorite is with 7.5, they split out the messages and props layers, effectively giving us a whole new layer that we can play around with. And all that has happened since ProPresenter 7 was announced in, I think it was either late January or early February of 2020. So that's a lot. Adding a whole new layer usually only happened every three to five years when a new version of ProPresenter was released. But because of ProPresenter Plus, they're motivated to uh, bring out new features all the time, along with bug fixes. So that's something else that you get with ProPresenter Plus is bug fixes. So that's really helpful. Um, one thing that you should know, some people think, oh, well, no problem. I'll just wait to 
renew my ProPresenter Plus until there's a version that has something in it that I like. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. So when you initially upgraded to ProPresenter 7 or bought it for the first time, you got one year. Okay? 365 days after you upgraded, your ProPresenter Plus expires. There is a one-year grace period, 365 more days, during which time, if you upgrade, then you will... Uh, it, only continues to the anniversary date. It doesn't move whatsoever. So it's not the case that, as I say, I've put it off for about a week or so so that I could show this to you. I don't get an extra week of time. In fact, right now, if we head over to my computer, you'll notice that I have one update available. I'm on the beta program. I can't update to that because I, my ProPresenter Plus expired in between when 7.5.1 came out and right now when the beta of 7.5.2 came out. Now, I could always update to it and show a watermark, but I'm not about that. So I'm going to go ahead and update it. Uh, some other people have said, well, no problem. I'll just wait a couple of years and then pay the upgrade price to... Um, get the new version when I think there are enough features. That's a problem too because on so you buy ProPresenter a year after you buy it ProPresenter Plus expires you have another year to update it um, for the uh, ProPresenter Plus discounted price. If on the 366th day after your ProPresenter Plus expires, you wanted to uh, get an update then, you have to pay the full price. Not even an upgrade price, not ProPresenter Plus price, the full price. So, in order for you to even save any money, you would have to upgrade every three years or so. So if you think there's any chance that you're going to need to upgrade in three years, go ahead. It'll save you some money, actually, to upgrade earlier. So that's all the reasons why I could think to upgrade to ProPresenter Plus. I know you might think, hey, I'm saving money, but really you're not saving money unless you're a church that was on ProPresenter 4, and now you're upgrading to ProPresenter 7. But in order to be that church, you're also going to have to buy new hardware because the hardware that ran Pro 4 can't run Pro 7. So it would be a much larger single expense than slowly doing it over time and slowly upgrading your computer hardware when the time is right as opposed to, oh, I have to upgrade it when I get the new version. So that's something else to keep in mind. So if I click on this, it says, uh-oh, I need to renew my license. So I'm going to go ahead and click the renew my license. You'll see that I have this right here. I have two seats because I'm a business here. This isn't my church that I'm doing this for. This is uh, for Church Tech U and TrinityDigitalMedia.com. So I'm going to go ahead, click this, and I'm going to pull out my wallet and put my money where my mouth is and grab my business card. So, I of course am going to black this out so that you can't see it, but I'm doing this real time nonetheless. There we go. And now I can install the new update and I put my money where my mouth is and I paid for ProPresenter Plus. This is right out of my uh, own pocket. 
This isn't a special deal that I got through Renewed Vision. I don't think they're going to give me my money back or anything like this. So this is one of the more expensive videos that I've done, but it's one that I think is worth it. So if you like this content, I bet you'd like the ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So head on over to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick. Put in your name and email address, and for free, I'll uh, give you a login to the ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course, which I just redid with all new content just for ProPresenter 7 Plus, 7 5, and newer. So if you're looking for an updated version, go ahead and take advantage of that. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.